Good afternoon, guys. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. May I request everyone to please stand and kindly greet your seatmate. Say hi, say hello. Yung nasa likod mo, nasa harapan mo. Batiin mo naman siya ng isang Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Who's excited to worship God in this place? Can we give the Lord a mighty roar of hallelujah? hallelujah. Amen. So right now, I want you to think. Think of what's beautiful about Christmas. Eh? Can you think of something, a single word to describe Christmas? Something beautiful to describe Christmas. Uh, pwede nyo na i-share sa katabi nyo kung gusto nyo. Pero okay lang din kung nasa isip nyo lang. Something beautiful. Meron namang naisip. Ang sabi sa Bible, we have to think of all things pure, good, noble, praiseworthy. Amen? Yun ang sinabi sa Bible. And you know what word I can think of this Christmas? What beautiful word I can think about this Christmas? It's Jesus. It's the name of Jesus. It's the most beautiful name of all. And it's the reason why we are celebrating Christmas. Amen? So right now, I want all of us to pray. Just raise your hands and tell the Lord how beautiful He is. Come on, magnify the name of Jesus. Glorify His name. He is God and He is worthy of all our praises. Come on, sing your praises. Just open your mouth in adoration. Adoration, thanksgiving. Be glory and honor, majesty, dominion, and power to our Jesus Christ. We lift your name high. Jesus, what a beautiful name. Son of God, Son of Man, Lamb that was slain. What a beautiful name. One more time, let's sing that Jesus. Jesus. What a beautiful name. Son of God, Son of Man, Lamb that was slain. What a beautiful 
sambahin ka, luwal hatid, pasalamatan, papurihan, o Diyos. Hallelujah! Yeah. 
we lift all our hands to God to give all the highest praises and glory and honor. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room and heaven and nature sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing Call us love our hands together for Jesus Woo! All together let's sing this
Because Lord, talaga pong nag, na, naging tao ka upang kami po ay maligtas. Upang kami po ay magkaroon ng totoong joy. True joy, true peace, and true love, Panginoon. So right now, God, accept, Lord, receive our praise and worship to you. Lahat po sana ng mga puso ngayon are filled with so much joy, with so much gratitude. For all na ginawa mo po sa buhay namin. So ngayon, Panginoon, we just want to stand, Lord, in behalf, Lord, of all the people, Father, na nandito ngayon. In behalf of all families represented ngayon, Panginoon. And dito kami dahil, Lord, ang mga puso namin, God, our hearts are longing for more of you. Our hearts, God, long to know you more. At salamat po na sa panahon na ito, You will open our hearts to receive your word. Lord, lahat kami dito ngayon, meron kaming mga pinagdadaanan, Lord. Iba-iba, Lord, na mga situations in life. But thank you, Father, that you will meet every need, God. You will meet every desire today through your word in Jesus' name. And Lord, we also pray for our government. Salamat po for preserving the Philippines and the Filipinos until today, oh God. Matatapos na ang 2020, oh God. Pero lahat ng mga Filipinos are hopeful because we serve and we serve the God of hope, Panginoon. And salamat po lahat ka mga dito are so expectant sa lahat pa ng gagawin mo sa mga buhay ng bawat isa, ng bawat pamilya na nandito ngayon. Oh God, thank you for being the God of the Filipinos, Father. And right now, God, we just offer to you our worship. Sana, Lord, matuwa ka sa lahat ng ginagawa namin ngayon. Ayaw namin na pumunta sa church na wala lang. Gusto namin, we come to church and after God, we have fellowship with one another. We have heard your word. Lord, we get out of that door never the same again, Panginoon. Salamat po talaga, all glory and honor we give to you and to you alone. In the mighty name of Emmanuel, Jesus Christ, everybody say, Amen, Amen, Amen. We may now take our seats. Woo! How many of you enjoyed the praise and worship? Yeah, salamat sa ating mga musicians, sa ating mga singers, no, talagang... Devoted yan sila kay Lord. So I'm Pastor Agilnes, No, I'm gonna just welcome those who have come here for the first time. No, sino dito? You're you you you're here ngayon lang po talaga nakakayat dito sa the Word facility where we meet every Sunday. So kung first time po kayo, pakikaway kaway lang. Kasali kayo jan ha sa taas. Kaya, yeah, mayroong mga first time doon. Kawai-kawai. Wow, madami, madami sila. Welcome to CCFI Jensen. Dito pa meron sa taas. Ayun, glory to God. Dito sa third row meron. My first time friend. Kawai-kawai lang. Ayun, meron din. And sa last row po. Ayun, woo! Ang dami nila. Glory to God. Dito naman po sa baba. Kawai-kawai lang. Dito po na side. Any anyone who has come here for the first time, meron po ba? 
It's okay. Sabihan mo ang, ang sarili mo, it's okay. <laughs> dito ba meron tayong first time dito sa harap? Pwede pong, ano, pwede pong kaway. Ayun, marami. Marami din sila dito, okay? Dito po. Yon, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yan, nakita ko yung mga kamay. And last row. Ayun, okay. Huw, palakpakan natin. Marami tayong new friends ngayon. And we tell you, hindi kayo mabibigo, no? God will meet you in your need today. So, um, ang online pala, nakalimutan ko. Online, hello. <laughs> no, kung nandyan kayo for the first time, welcome din kayong lahat. So ngayon po, ang mag-speak, no? Ang aking nakakababatang kapatid, no? So when my parents were still alive, wala yan siyang pakialam sa ministry. Pero yung kinuha na ni Lord, ang mama at papa ko, ngayon naging pastor na talaga siya. So let's welcome Pastor June Ogsad. Thank you, Tora. Unsa to? Gisiraan akong reputasyon o... O gi, ano, gi-enhance. Okay, welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Mayong hapon sa atong tanan. Merry, Merry Christmas. And... Uh, God will again speak to us this afternoon. Yan si Tora, no? Yan si Toro. Naguna-una ko, unsa po yung akong pangalan? Barako, siguro, Barako. Tora, Toro. Sige lang, masigil unsa. Okay. Once again, Merry Christmas at palakpakan natin si Lord ng malakas na malakas. Once again, I am Pastor Junug Sad. Ah... Uh, I am one of the uh, uh, associate pastors of this church. Sa una, murag maulaw pa dito magpakilala nga ana ba no? Kayo, di ba, usahay ang kaaway gyo, di ba? Dili ko gusto unta magpastor. Okay? Pero si Lord, maskin unsay imong himuon. Okay? Kahit anong gagawin mo, kahit tatakbo ka. Okay? Kahit lumangoy ka, si Lord hahabulin kanya pag talagang gagamitin kanya. Amen ba? Amen. Okay. Uh, once again, sa ating mga first timers, uh, God will speak to you. Okay? This afternoon. Yung mga na dyan, dyan sa taas. Welcome. Hi. Uy, kung saan mo? Suko mo deha? <laughs> okay, Welcome. Everyone, sa ating mga all-timers, sa ating mga second-timers na nito last Sunday, we wish you a Merry Christmas, okay? We are still here because God is good. Diba ang 2020 natin, napakahirap, okay? But despite of it all, no, we are still here, okay, praising God. Kasi talagang si Lord ay faithful sa ating mga buhay sa lahat, despite sa lahat ng mga nahitabo karon, Okay? So, in behalf of the CCFI, Christian Church Fellowship International, okay, uh, ay, o nga pala, uh, we congratulate yung mga nanalo. Doon sa ating, uh, ano yun? Christmas Cantata sa ating Life Connect version 3. Okay, palakpakan natin. Ang dami pala nating mga singers, ano? Nasaan ba sila? Ha? Wala, wala mo magpamirienda sa inyong daog. Okay? So, we 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 congratulate lahat. Okay, lahat sa ating from sa pau natin, okay, ating mga mga instrumentalist, ating mga yon, yung mga contestants. Ano pang i-congratulate natin? Kahit yung nasa behind the scene. Okay? Yung mga, saan ba sila? No? Kung wala kayo, <clears throat> kung wala sila, hindi maganda yung mga, yung mga mukha nyo sa TV. Ay, sa, <laughs> sa screen. Okay? So lahat-lahat, for God's glory, congratulations everyone. O sige. Unting paalaala ang word natin ngayon. Kasi ang, ang, title ng word natin ngayon is Year of Christ-likeness Making Christmas Happen Again. 
making Christmas happen again. Ang ginamit, hindi ako gumamit ng ano ngayon, ng touch screen. <laughs> White screen na lang ang gamit. <laughs> Para sure. <laughs> making Christmas happen again. It's, that, that is, uh, does it sound intriguing, yung title ng ano natin? Di ba, ba't siguro pumasok sa utak natin ngayon, why? Bakit napupostpone ba ang Christmas? Hindi naman kami nag-uusap-usap na mga preachers. Kasi nung, nung Life Connect nga, sabi, may Pasko pa ba sa pandemya? Anong sagot nyo dyan? Meron ba? Meron. Sino bang nagpupostpone ng Pasko? Di ba tayo September pa nga, mga Pilipino, Pasko na? No, dungog na rin tag, whenever I see girls and boys, di ba? I remember the boy. Di ba? I don't remember the feeling. Sa mawala ta, no? So, mga mudahin na ito, September pa lang. No, Christmas has always been celebrated all over the world. And why is it now that I am saying that we will make Christmas happen again? Okay? So, let me explain. Pwede mag-explain? Di ba sa FB, no? May, may commercial kasi. Nakita yung commercial sa FB. And there's a line there that says, the dominant figure during Christmas time. No? Yes, sino? Itong sabi niya, the dominant figure during Christmas time is yung kinanta ko kanina. Sabi niya is Jose Marichan. Di ba? Tayo, mga Filipinos, we, we all know him. Pag Christmas, siya na yun. No? Anong mga kanta niya? Di ba? Pa, ay, ano po yung mga kinakanta niya? Uh, ayun, kana yung whenever I see, uh, see boys and girls. Okay? Siya ang dominant figure during Christmas. And then, may mga sermons tayo, di ba? Our first sermon, our second sermon, sino yung mga dominant figure natin during Christmas? Sino? Jesus? Di ba? Kumisan. Nawawala si Jesus. Sino? Yung preaching ni Toro, di ba? Sino? Si Santo Claus? Sino pa? Yung mga reindeer? Reindeer? Gawas yun yung atong pagkakuan, no? si Buano. Okay? Reindeer? Sino pa? Yung mga Christmas tree? Si Rudolph? Na pula-pula og ilong? Yan ang dominant usually sa atin. And not only in the Philippines, but all over the world. So, where is Christ then in our celebration? Sometimes, guilty taan eh. Okay? But we thank God na tayo rito lahat. No, we know who are we celebrating for. Okay? So, ganyan. The mystery of Christmas last Sunday. The mystery of what? Of our love? The mystery of faith? Yan ang dapat natin pag-uusapan. Pati yung mga jokes nga eh. Mysterious. No, last Sunday. ba? Diba? Naalaala niyo pa yon? Okay, mga ilang araw kayo bago tumawa? Baka nga ngayon, ininisip niyo pa. Actually, nakakatawa yung joke na yun. Ha? Huh? Kasi, wala ka nga, mahirap ngang maghanap ng fake na fortuner. Ayaw niyo pa rin tumawa. Mahirap, kasi mas, mad- mas mahirap maghanap ng fake na diamonds. Okay? So, ganito. Pag-uusapan natin talaga ngayon, yun bang si Lord ang my birthday? Kaya ganito, making Christmas happen again. Si Lord ang my birthday, pero ikaw ang nag-i-emote. Ay, nakarelate ba kayo? ba? Diba? ba diba, pag Pasko, ba? Diba? Sana ngayong Pasko, maalala mo ako. Ikaw ang nag-i-emote, hindi mo naman birthday eh. ba? Diba? Niya na pa nag-ingon, gigrit lagi ko ni mo, ma, uh, maayong Pasko, malipayong Pasko. Siya, 
Pero unsaon man magmalipayo ng akong Pasko kung walay ako o ikaw. Ikaw ang nag eh. Hindi mo na one birthday. Di ba? Unsa pa? Oh. Kung sa Pasko, ingon kasi mga single diri. Woo! Taas, sige. Di ba? Single bell, single bells. Kanta na to sa Pasko sa mga, mga single. No? Ana, na anay H, no? Single bells. Okay. So, ingon siya, kung, kung single pa ko, kung single pa ako hanggang Pasko, sasama ako sa LGU. Nga, alam niyo LGU, no? Local. Para masama ako sa pag-ayuda sa iyo. Mabigay na lang daw siya sa iyo. Ano ka ba? Nag-emote ka, hindi mo naman birthday. Ganyan kasi. No? Yung bang, kahit hindi mo birthday, iba ang birthday mo nga, tapos iba ang sineserenade. Masakit ba yan? Okay? Birthday mo, naghanda ang family mo, hindi naman ikaw ang in-acknowledge na ikaw nga ang inandaan. Kaya kuminsan ang sitwasyon, no, nagpaubaya ka na lang. Alam niyo pa alam niyo yung kantang paubaya? No, kamag-ano na ko ng word ng ano ilang ano dito. Kailan nagsimulang So, si tono gani ani. Si tono gani ani. Alerian, Ma'am Alerian. Oh, floor, sige daw. Kailan nagsimulang magbago ang lahat, no? Si basahon lang na ako, kaya di kaya ko ano. Kailan nung ako'y di naging syapat? Diba? Anong hinga naman magkanta ng mga millennials karon? But di mo sinabi nung una pa lang. Yeah, ganito. Ako ang kailangan pero di ang mahal. Sakit kayo, di ba? Napadirig ingon. Ako ang kasama, pero hanap mo siya. Ganito eh, oh. meron pa oh. Ako ang kayakap, pero isip mo siya. Oh, meron pa. Ako yung nauna, pero siya ang wakas. Makahilak man yung kantaha di ay ni, no? No? Alam mo, ganito ang kinanta ni Lord, oh. Ako ang my birthday. Siya kanya ang party. Kasi kuminsan, ano tayo nito? Siya ang my birthday, pero si Santa Claus ang may party. No? Yung mga, yung, pati yung mga binaw, yung reindeer, yung reindeer, sila ang gipartihan na to. Hindi kasi si Lord sometimes. Kaya ang Mas ang ano natin ngayon, we will make Christmas now happen again. Not the Christmas that we use to to to, to celebrate yung yung style natin ng pagpa-party natin pag sa celebrate natin. We will make Christmas happen again. Wala bang palakpak diyan kay Lord? Okay? Okay. Alam mo ang daming nakarelate sa kantang ito. Meron Pero mo 104k comments. Ang dami kasi nakarelate kasi nakaka nakakaantig nga. Nakakaantig nga. But you know, reality reality check tayo. We believers, we Christians, we truly celebrate Christmas by remembering our Lord's birth. Pero sometimes aminin natin. Okay? We fall to the trap na binibigay ng enemy sa atin. And, and it has been so effective through the years. Okay? Na divert, no? na divert yung celebration natin sa, re, sa true reason for the season. The world celebrates Christmas but not giving honor to the true celebrant. Okay? Not making the real Christmas happening in their life. Ano bang ibig sabihin yan? No? How old na ba tayo ngayon? Marami ng Paskong dumaan. Napakarami na ako. 59 na Pasko na. O oh, alam niyo na ang age ko, di ba? Pero mura lang 58, no? Karon. 
Okay? So, nangyari na ba ang Pasko, ang tunay na Pasko sa buhay natin? Did we truly understand the real meaning? No? Or have we truly received and then experienced that precious gift that God has for us? You see, Christmas did not happen to all the people, even during the really the first Christmas. Diba, mga full houses, ang inns, full lahat. Pumasok sana si, uh, si Mama Mary and Papa Joseph doon, pero hindi sila pinapasok kasi the inn is full. Okay? Full of something. No, we are preoccupied with something and busy with something. Because of this, si Lord, ang baby Jesus, wala siyang napasukan na decent man lang para doon siya ipanganak. Okay? Kaya ang nangyari doon siya sa very dirty manger. Alam niyo bang yung ano ng manger? It's from the word mange. May mga aso ba kayo? Pusa? Okay? May mga mange mites. Mange mites yan sila. No? Sa munay ko sa atong mga skin diseases. Sa ilang skin diseases di ay okay? skin diseases <laughs> sa itong mga tinudun lang nato sa itong mga kagid. Diba? Ganun doon si Lord. Grabe no? So, Christmas, ang situation natin noon at saka noon is not different. Okay? But as time goes by, we go farther, farther away from the original Christmas. Our Christmas ngayon, parties, No concerts, yeah, rakrakan. Okay, may mga acoustic. Tali ako diyan noon, di ba? Di ba? And then mga swimming. <laughs> di ba? Ngayon, bas, di ba? Hindi naman ba hindi naman masama 'yan. Okay? Hindi naman masama 'yan. Mga video kay, it's not bad. Pero let's give honor to whom it is due. Let's make Christmas happen. Today, kung sino talaga ang ating sineselebrate. Kasi ang meaning ng Christmas, it is the celebration of the birth of Christ. So dapat siya. Siya ang center ng celebration natin. Okay? Baka ngayon nga, COVID-19, ito ang way, no? That God remind us, no? The real essence of Christmas. Okay? Na disiplina tayo from spending, no? Mga travels. No? Kasi mahirap mag-travel, di ba? Ha? Huh? Ganito ra? Hoy, iswab imong ilong. Asa man iswab, di ba? Sa ilong. Okay? So, maraming na stress sa shopping. May stress ba kayo mag-shopping? O walay kwarta? Diha ta may stress. No? Di ba? Maskig, maskig kompleto pa ang atong bakuna. Kung wala tayo kwarta, mangluyag yun ta. Okay? Brother, did you understand that one? Oh, no. You, you translate. Wala tayo bakuna, no? Mas kompleto. So, ngayon, no? Before, ang Christmas natin, napakaraming nangyayari. May mga aksidente dahil nga naglalasingan. No holiday travels, diba? Everybody is in a hurry. No? Uh, parties. Yo, sinabi ko na kanina yan. Mga reunions. Nahubog si Papa. Si Mama, busy kayo, mag, busy kayo magluto. No? Ang mga anak, sige, tok-tik. Okay? Ay, ang sagay na, tik-tok. <laughs> Uy, joke lang tayo. Ako lang tungi tuyo. Okay? So, daghang kayo. But this Christmas ngayon, no? Sana, Christmas will happen to us. The true meaning and the true spirit of Christmas will happen to us. And Christmas came, happens only to those who are surrendered to the will of God. Yan ang first point natin. Kung basahin natin, wala akong inano kanina sa text natin. Ang text kasi natin nasa, nasa book of Matthew and Luke. Yan ang story 
of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, basahin nyo na lang yan. Matthew 18, 1-21. No, that's the birth of Jesus. No, ang mga ano nito, si Mary, si Joseph. No, it was said that Mary no, was very young when, when she received the news that she was chosen as the mother of the Messiah. But the scriptures, you know what, was silent about this, kung ano talaga ang age ni Mary. Mag-guess niya ba? Ano kaya ang age ni Mary ngayon, nung nabuntis siya ng Holy Spirit? Okay? So it was assumed na si Joseph is uh, mas matanda, elderly. Ang sabi nga dito, <clears throat> Mary was around 16 and Joseph was uh, 18. Okay? So meron ding version na they were engaged at the age of 16 and then nung ginamit na siya ni Lord at the, they were both at the age of 18. Pero itong mga age na ito sa atin ngayon, di ba ano bang ba age ng, ng uh, responsibility natin? No? Magiging ano ka na, na pag... Uh, Okay, ang age of responsibility natin, ano? At what age now? 18 ba? Pinataas? Eh, meron may, may nabasa rin ako na 15. So maraming benefit, disadvantage, no? marami daw ring advantages. Okay, kaya tayo, actually tayo, no? sa church natin, ang age of, yung pinapatanggap na natin ang kay Lord, yung mga, yung mga kabataan natin at the age of 12. They already know what is right and wrong. That's why we already may, uh, pinapatanggap na natin sila kay Lord, a prayer of acceptance. Okay, so ganito. No? In the case of Joseph, grabe ang kanyang responsibility. No? Uh, he accepted the responsibility to be the Jesus, uh, father of Jesus. Pero nung una, ayaw niya. Okay, kasi alam niya na ang alang nangyari. No? Na akala niya, o talagang uh, totoo naman na hindi sa kanya. It, is from, it was from the Holy Spirit. So, when the angel okay, came to him and talked to him, doon na niya. Pero, you know, ang sinabi nito, he had to protect Mary, no? who could have been suspected of committing adultery. Pinaka, uh, isa yan sa pinaka heinous crime no? during the time. Kasi itong mga, itong mga Jewish people, napaka-religyoso niyan. So pag ganyan ang mga kasalanan, no, that is that is uh, equivalent to stoning. Napakahirap kung ganun. Okay? So he had to wrestle with doubt that Mary could be carrying inside the baby baby of another man. So we were taught, no, that they, uh, they were taught, no, about the prophecies. They were only given a short glimpse of God's master plan. Okay? But we're both willing to board on the boat where God is the captain. Nung sinabihan sila ni Lord, nung na-understand na nila kung ano ang plan ni Lord, they were both willing na. So what's the point here? Mary and Joseph, at their very young age, no, had pro- proven to be responsible enough and understood that God will use them for the pur- purposes, for God's purposes upon men. Okay? God made a move. Di ba sa kanta natin kanina, for 400 years, silence si Lord. Walang visions, walang dreams. And then finally came this very wonderful day, moment, when Jesus or when God finally announced through the angels. Okay? So God made a move and they were willing to accomplish God's will through them. Okay? Mary and Joseph experienced Christmas because they were willing or submissive to the will of God in their lives. What is experiencing simply meant? Okay? So experiencing salvation through Jesus. When you understand Christmas, diba? ang ibig sabihin ng Jesus, okay, the deliverer, Or the Messiah. 
or the Emmanuel that God now is with us. Or meaning salvation is with us. Okay? So experiencing Christmas ito, the suitable, we experience salvation through Jesus because Jesus is the only suitable Savior. Ibig sabihin ng suitable, He is able. He is the only one who is able. Okay? Kaya nga sabi rin sa Jude, ano? Sa, uh, ano? Um, yung ginagamit natin? He is able to keep us from falling. And then He is, he is the only one, the willing Savior. He humbled Himself even to the point of death. Ito ang tunay na paubaya. Nagpaubaya siya. Siya mismo. He obeyed. He humbled himself even to the point of death. Sino, hindi kanya sinurender. Okay? Pinaglaban kanya. Itong birth kasi ni Jesus is just part of the gospel. Ang gospel kasi is the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Yung kanta kasi kanina, ang sabi ng chorus, at kung masaya ka sa piling niya, di ko napipilitin pa. Ano kaya kung ganyan ang ginawa ni Lord? O sige, masaya ka sa kanya. Sino siya? Sino yung kanya? Yung siya. Di na kita pipilitin pa. Ano kaya kung ganyan ang ginawa niya? Di ba? Trahedya para sa atin. No? O ito, ang sabi dito, ang taling hiling ko lang sa kanya ay huwag kang paluhain at alagaan kanya. Kung ganyan kaya ang ginawa ni Lord, gitugyan ta niya. Hindi kanya pinaglaban. But si Lord, He is will, He was willing. No? Because that's, what's, uh, the, that's the design of God for our salvation. Na mamatay siya sa cross, pinaglaban kanya. Nagpaubaya siya sa sarili niya para sa iyo, para sa ating lahat. He is the willing Savior. Wala bang palakpak siyang kay Lord? Okay? And then, He, he, he has the an all-sufficient. All-sufficient. Ibig sabihin, wala ka nang hahanapin pa. Nasa Kanya na lang lahat. Sana ang puso natin nasa Kanya rin. Diba? Kung isang kanta na, kang, kang Daniel Padilla, nasa iyo na ang lahat. Sabi niya kay, ano, sana ganito na lang kay Lord. No? Kasi nasa Kanya na lahat, pati puso natin. No? He, he will be sufficient. He can supply all our needs. Yan ang sabi ng, ng Bible sa atin. According to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He is the all sufficient Savior. So all in all, to sum it up, no? Hindi ko talaga lagi kung nagagamit itong verse nito kaya paborito ko ito yung 2 Timothy 1.12 For I know whom I have believed. This is the confidence of our Christian faith. We should know whom, you, whom we believe. And sabi dito, and I am persuaded that He is able. He is able. Kaya nga, now unto Him who is able to keep us from falling. Yan si Jesus, no? Okay? Kaya, gisam it up ko rin ito sa a song. Diba? Alam, alam ko, alam niyo yung kantang ito. Not because of what I've done. Sige daw, ituloy nga. But because of what you've done. Not because of who I am, but because of who you are. He is the willing, the suitable the willing Savior, the sufficient Savior. That's Jesus na pinanganak. Ayan, lakasan niyo. Para kay Lord naman yan. So the name of Jesus, meron nga nagsabi, no? Okay? That this is the confidence of the Christian faith. Sabi niya. Christ is able to bring the soul into the state of salvation. Kaya niya. Lahat-lahat kaya niya. Merong ang nagsabi rin Sam, no, that the name, that sana pumunta siya, he came, he came to save them from poverty, pain, and death. 
hindi nila alam ang sinasabi nila. They do not know no, that to be saved from sin is to be saved from all of this. Poverty, pain, and death. Yan kasi ang epekto ng kasalanan eh. Sin itself is the greatest of all miseries. It is the source of all miseries. Kasalanan. So it's God's will for us to have salvation, to be saved. That's why He came. And we are reminded today that today is a day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation from all of man's miseries. All of, all of man's okay, sin. It's the, that's the cause of all our miseries. So, ngayon, magtatanong ako, ganun ka rin ba sa estate ni Mary and ni Joseph? Are you very young? Bata ka pa ba? Have you surrendered your life to the Savior? Okay? So Christmas is not just a month. Christmas is when Christ comes to your life. And through you, even at your very young age, like Joseph, like Mary, okay? God will use you because that's God's will for you. God will use you so that others will also know and experience God's love in their life. Palakpakan natin si Lord. And then during the first Christmas, we will come to our second point. Christmas came okay, and happened to those who are broken and needy. Makita natin yan sa Luke 2.8 uh, 2, 11 to 14. Sino ito sila? Sino? Kung basahin nyo dyan, they are the shepherds. Yung mga shepherds kasi during that time, they are the ones, they were marginalized. Okay? Ibig sabihin na marginalized, na criticized. Sila yung mga taong, di ba? Mababa ng tingin ng society sa kanila. They are belittled, rejected, and so, even sometimes forgotten no, in the society. Wala, wala ang mga ang mga nasa high society, walang pakialam sa kanila. Sino ba sila sa panahon natin ngayon? We thank the Lord because ang Pilipinas, hindi sila masyadong ganito sa mga classes. No, we are not so uh, kanang nag-degrade good ngayon mga tauhana. Okay? These are Filipinos. We thank God that we are Filipinos. Okay? Ang uban pagani, ginatabangan nato sila. But during this time, sila yung marginalized. But you know what? Accordingly, according to our scriptures, they were the ones no, to be first to have been given the breaking news. Breaking news ito, bigla na lang sabi ng mga angels, ah, gulat kayo ano? No? Kinsa di makuratan, kita daw karun be. No? Samtang nag-unsa ka, may, may anong, gina, kahit anong ginagawa mo, biglang, ah, Tura, I bring you good tidings. May mga pako ang nakita ni mo. No? But during these times, hindi naman, ano, kasi uh, murag normal lang said because ganito ang pag-connect ng Panginoon sa kanila during time uh, with angels, no? with visions. Okay? So, the, first, the breaking news, no? Ang angel ang nagdala. Yeah, pray, uh, ang sabi dito, the an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said, do not be afraid. No, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great Joy for all people. Actually, that was the first sermon. The angels. No? I bring you good tidings. I, mean, I preach to you. No? The good tidings. The good news. The gospel. So the preacher was the angel. 
Okay? As God deals with men kasi, the angels, no, uh, also look into the things that concern the salvation and, reveal, and God revealed to them the depths of His divine wisdom and love. Ginagamit ni Lord ang mga angels. Okay? Even, di ba? Okay, dito sa pag-announce na kanyang birth, even beforehand. Okay? Beforehand, beforehand uh, of His birth. Okay? And that of His forerunner. No? They celebrate and announce His birth. And they ministered, no? Nung nag na si Jesus. So, ang angels ay may malaking uh, parte, no? Sa ministry, no? About Christ. So, during this time, they preach the good news first to the shepherds. Sa pinaka mababa ang tingin ng tao sa kanila during that time. They are the congregation or they are the audience. Okay? During that time. The, mes- the message of the angel concerns all men. But they have been selected to hear it first. For he came to tell the birth of the Savior who of whom all stand in need. Tayong lahat, we need this announcement, okay, the birth of the Savior. Okay? So the message of do not be afraid, no, the first word, fear not, is not bad news. No? Ang bad news sa atin lagi ngayon, ano ang laging bad news natin ngayon? Tumataas na naman ang number ng nagkaka-COVID. Alam niyo bakit? Kasi yung mga mask natin, magaganda na. Designers, you're impressing the virus. Dapat kasi, anuhin natin ang virus, kaya yung mga mask natin, ganun mga kahadlok, unta. Para mahadlok ang virus. So yan ang mga bad news sa atin ngayon. Okay? So, ito news. Good news ito. Okay? The good news that the angels brought the message of good news. We are to be made tayo. Okay? The shepherds, the first who hear the good news. Okay? Of great, they are partakers of a great joy. A joy so great no, as to gladden, masaya, naging masaya ang kanilang mga puso. Okay? Hindi lang sila, but sa lahat ng of the Jewish nation and to all human race. That's the good news. The birth of the Savior. So this is to all people, to all ages, all nation, all classes in society. Pero ang sabi, bakit daw ang una? Kasi mga Jewish yung mga shepherds. But you know what? It also came through a star sa mga wise men. Di ba nakita nila yung mga wise men? So to the, to the Jew first and then to the Gentiles. Kasi ang mga Jews, they were truly waiting for the consolation of Israel. So sila ang naghulat yun. So sila ang nakauna sa pagdawat o ayuda. The ayuda. Di ba kung tagaang ka og ayuda? Malipay ka, dili. Di, ano yun, bang-uban, magbagot-bot pa. Sa manimpugas, eh, pangit mang kainin nga. Sardinas na po. Alam niyo yung sardinas ang ginabigay sa atin na ayuda? Wala na nagka-COVID. So ang conclusion, ang sardinas dahil ang tambal sa COVID. Kung bigyan kayo ng ayuda na sardinas, tanggapin nyo. Di ba? Lugay, kung wala nyo ginagawat, wala mo itambal. Okay? So the good news is to all ages, all nations, all classes in society. But, the message also come to the, to the Gentiles. God is meek. Okay? God is gentle. He's a king, he's a great king who gets down to the level of the insignificant poor people. The shepherds. 
So if you are this person ngayon, but I know, no, we are not on this uh, same. Why? Because we already have received Jesus. But if you have friends, neighbors, loved ones, hindi naman talaga ito literal no? na mga marginalized. It could be very spiritual. Tell them of this good news. Okay? Tell them na hindi sila nakakalimutan. In fact, sila nga ang first. Si Lord, binigyan nga sila. Then He's the number one in His list to the people like the shepherds. They are number one on His list to know His great plan for all mankind. The least. Kaya the least among all my brethren. Yan talaga lagi ang sinasabi ni Jesus. So the shepherd comes first to the cradle of Christ, but the wise men came too. Okay? Ang sabi kasi to the Jew first and then to the Gentiles. So in here, we can, we can see that there's a consolation. That even the poorest and the simplest and the least gifted and accomplished find welcome from our God. Kahit ano ka pa, kababa sa tingin ng mga tao. Yeah, and you may even uh, take uh, first rank among first in the kingdom of God. Yan ang makita natin dito. And secondly, there is a lesson that in whatever may be the distinction among us, we are all one in the service of Christ. Ganito kasi ang, ang ano, yung shepherds daw, okay, we should use our gifts for each other's good. Yung shepherd sang the song. Ikantahan daw nila itong mga, mga wise men. And the wise men told the story about what happened to them. Okay? The wise men told the story to the wandering shepherd. So lahat tayo, kahit anong class tayo, we are first in the list of God's wonderful message. Palakpakan nga natin si Lord. Christmas is for everyone. For everyone. And then comes the last point. Christmas came to those who are hoping in the Lord. Yung mga nawawalan ng pag-asa. Okay? Okay, they came to those who still hope in the Lord. Ang sinunim daw ng hope is trust and to wait patiently. May preaching ako noon about, di ba, the hope that quiets the troubled soul. Di ba, may mga ano doon that hope is being, being able to see despite of all the darkness. Everything that is done in this world is done by hope. So if we read Luke 2, 25 to 26, merong dalawang personality dito. Okay? Basahin natin. Basahin nyo na lang dyan. Ang una si Simeon. And ang pangalawa si Anna. Okay? Both of these, they are waiting for the consolation of Israel. Kasi during this time, bihag sila. Di ba? The, the, they were... Uh, na uh, ang um, anong tawag nito? Nabihag sila ng Roman Empire. Kaya ang karamihan, ang akala nila, darating ang Messiah, a political Messiah. So they're waiting, both. So what, uh, what do they have in common? No? They are of advanced age. So, Meron akong inano dito, please do not die kung di mo pa na-experience ang tunay na Pasko sa buhay mo. Ganito ang sinabi ng angel kay Simeon, you will not die before no? Ay, uh, 
mamamatay ka na after na darating na ang Panginoon. Okay? So do not die. Because when you die without, without receiving this gift of Christmas in your life, God can no longer save you from the place where you will, you will go. Kaya, habang buhay. Okay? So in their time, they look forward for the coming of the Messiah. They look forward. But in our time, today, we look back to that blessed day when our Deliverer was born, the Messiah was born. So Simeon and Hannah and Anna waited for the fulfillment of the coming of Jesus, the Messiah. So sabi ko kanina, what do they have in common? They are in advance of age. Siguro mga 70s to, to 80s na ito. Okay? So kahit ganito na ang age nila, no? They are just and devout. Ito ang sinabi ng Bible. Ang meaning sabi ng just, that is our character before man. Ang devout, that is our character before God. Marami rin sa atin, noon mga young people lang ang nandito sa atin ngayon. Pero andito na rin ang mga grandpas natin ngayon dito sa church. Okay? Palakpakan nga natin ang ating mga grandpas. Okay? Na Christmas <laughs> Ano yung Tora? Oh, ay mga grandmas po. Ay saan ang mga grandmas natin? Oh. Diba? Ano daw ang isang clue na tumatanda na tayo? Marami na nagsasabi sa atin na you look young. Ang bata mo ngayon. Bata mong tingnan, yan ang isang clue na tumatanda na tayo. No? Tapos, uh, we prepare, no? half of our, of our age, we prepare for the old age. But when it comes, we are also busy denying it kung dumating na. Diba? Diba? But you know what? These two, no? Hannah and Simeon. Okay? Ay, si Anna de ay. So huwag mawala ng pag-asa habang may buhay. Many are disappointed daw kay Lord. No? Kaya ako may, may kanta ako ngayon, Pasko. Medyo na, kasi diba? Kung discipler tayo, minsan nawa, diba? Kaya ang kanta ko, Pasko na disciple ko hanap hanap kita sometimes yan mga disappointments natin mga disciples medyo nagano ang mga wilderness ang mga disciples natin but wag tayong ma-disappointed kasi may seed na yun sila babalik lang sila sana nga yung Pasko before mag New Year palakpakan natin that's our prayer Do not get disappointed habang may buhay. Okay? May pag-asa. Sana yung iba yan. Oh, Di ba? Pagka trinaw na natin yung towel, surrender na yan. Let us remember, we reminded again, yung sinabi ko sa first yung preaching ko sa hope, hope is the only thing that is stronger than all our fears. Ang pagdating ni Lord ay nagbigay okay, ng kalakasan no? at ng pag-asa sa ating buhay. Sa buhay nyo, sa buhay ko, at sa buhay ng mga tao sa buong mundo. That's the message of Christmas. So mga unanswered prayers, mga unex, uh, unmet expectations, ang dami natin mga expectations, okay, daghan ng luod, so, di ba sabi ko kanina, maraming napagod ng umasa. Okay. Sino bang napagod ng umasa dito? Ha? Pumunta kayo sa LGU para mabigay kayo sa kanya. Sino nang natatakot mag-trust? But did God really disappoint? 
The answer is no. This Christmas, we should be reminded that we are kept, preserved, sustained in our trials by our hope. Takasan yung palakpak natin kay Lord. No matter how long the waiting is, mga singles, no matter how long the waiting is, we are called to proclaim hope to the hopeless. Kaya tayo, we should have that hope because how can we give that when wala tayo niyan? That's our purpose. Okay? So, be encouraged right now to the lives of these two, Hannah, Anna, and Simeon. Ang sabi ng Psalm 25.3, no one who hopes in you will ever, will be ever put to shame. So God precisely fulfills His promises, but not, His promises, but not all of the time in the way we expect them to be. Why? They, the promises of God, exceeds all our expectations. Palapakan natin si Lord. Okay? So in John 10.10, 10, the thief only comes to steal to kill and destroy. But Jesus came for us to have life, an abundant life. So our Jesus came to this world. Jesus came to this world with our best interest, with all the best interest in his mind. He is trustworthy. He is gentle and meek. So nag-change ang time natin, but our God does not change. Nag, nag change ang the way we celebrate Christmas, but our God does not change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So the birth of Jesus is just part of the gospel. Just, that I, just as I said, that the gospel is the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you miss the message of Christmas, and if Christmas in this lifetime will not happen to you, you will miss everything. That's why Christmas should happen. And listen, okay? That's the gift. That's the best gift that God has given us. Today, we need to go back, okay? And experience the first Christmas, the real Christmas to happen to us. We need to understand it deeper. We need to understand it by heart. You may be like Mary and Joseph, mga bata pa tayo, mga young people, mga young of age pa tayo. Okay? Or you may be like the shepherds who are of lowly status in their lives. Or maybe advanced na ang age natin like Simeon and Anna. Itong sabihin ko sa inyo ngayon. We all stand in the same need of a Savior. Ibalik ko ito. Kahit anong sitwasyon mo ngayon, ang sitwasyon natin ngayon, we all stand in the same need of the Savior. We need Jesus, the Messiah. So receive Him right now as your personal Lord and Savior. So if it did not happen, no? During last year, during last Christmas, okay? Or many years back, make it happen now. This Christmas. Make it happen now. This Christmas. Receive the best gift God has given us. Then the real Christmas is right now happening in you, in me, and to all who receive Him as Lord and Savior. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Okay, music. (laughs) 
I will now uh, speak to our new friends. Ayan, palakpakan natin sila. So, young man kayo, no? ano man ang status nyo, okay? ano man ang sitwasyon natin sa buhay, okay? the message is for you right now. We will make the, the message of Christmas happen to you. Ayaw namin lumabas kayo rito na hindi nyo ma-experience ang Christmas sa buhay nyo. Can you just stand, please? Okay, can you just stand? Palakpakan natin sila. Ayan, dito. Dito banda, meron ba dito? Okay. Dito, dito. Di ba yung kanina, saan yun? Yung mga new friends natin, huwag kayong mahiya. Huwag kayong mahiya, this is the day. No? God has for you. Okay, palakpakan natin. Dito, meron. Ayan. Sige, tumayo po kayo. Ayan, palakpakan natin. Dito, tumayo kayo, huwag kayong mahiya. Ayan, palakpakan natin na sa harap talaga sila. Ay, sa taas, marami. Wow, palakpakan natin. Napakarami natin ngayon. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Let us make, no, this day, no. Hindi, natayo lang muna kayo. No, the Christmas should happen in our life today. Today is the day of salvation. Magpipray lang tayo. I will just lead you to a very simple play- prayer. Okay, and make it and make this prayer as your own. Okay? And then Christmas will happen to you. Okay? Sige, mag-pray tayo. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you, Father, because you have spoken in each one's heart right now, oh God. And Lord, thank you for speaking to me. Father, I now understood that you are the best gift, Jesus, that I can have in my life. So Lord, in this Christmas time, I will receive you, the reason for this season, Jesus, who came to save me. I receive you now as Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord. Can you now please be seated? So, if you have truly prayed na that prayer with all of your heart, Christmas has just happened to you. Palakpakan natin si Lord sa mga buwan. Father God, thank you for your word, our oh God. And Lord, Ikaw, Father, ang mag-speak more sa mga bago na nagdawat kanimo, oh God. We declare our love for them. We will be a father to them. In Jesus' name. And we dedicate this service to you right now. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Palakpakan natin si Lord ng malakas na malakas. God bless us all. first the kingdom of God and all those righteousness shall be added unto you let us pray for our offering and tithes Lord thank you Lord God for this afternoon oh Lord may our giving Lord God will be a sweet aroma to your name bless Lord God our giving and bless the people that we cherish oh Lord and may you be the, the reason Lord God for this season at all times We bless your name, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, let's give. 
Stay tuned for our announcements. To our new friends today, welcome to the family. We would love to hear from you, so we are encouraging you to join a live group. Ask the person who invited you for more details. Celebrate with us every Sunday at 2 p.m. here at the Word for Everyone Ministries. For those who can join us, we are streaming on our official Facebook page. We are inviting everyone to join our dawn prayer meeting every Saturday, 5 a.m. via Zoom. Please ask your network leaders for the link. If you want to learn more about our God or re-watch our previous Sunday services, follow us and like us on our official social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel. And have a happy, happy, happy birthday to those who are celebrating this week. Happy birthday. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining, joining us and see you around. around. God, a loud clap offering. Okay, so before we sing our closing song, I'd like to announce an award. No, yung mga winners natin sa ating Christmas cantata. Palapakan natin. Um, I'd like to say now we appreciate. No, we appreciate all those who cooperated and submitted their entries. Lahat winners yun sila, no. But, syempre, meron talagang panalo. And we decided to give the first three top no, uh, entries to receive the award ngayon. Palakpakan natin for the third prize goes to the called and chosen called and team. Chosen. Can I ask a representative to claim your prize? Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Asa wala, wala representative. Ayaw niya? Ay, nasa Ayun taas pa, Tora. Ayun, nasa taas? Pababa na, Tora. Okay, second prize goes to the... Team Team Masterpiece! Team Masterpiece! Ayan. Ah, ayan. So, ang network leader, si Pastora Beauty. Ah, okay. Masterpiece! Ayan. Congratulations! And for the first... Prize for Team Unstoppable. Okay, Team Unstoppable. Woo! Congratulations, ayan si Marshall. So si Marshall pala hindi lang dancer, singer din. Glory to God. Palapakan natin lahat sila. So glory to God for the successful Life Connect last Friday and a special announcement for next month's Life Connect. It's gonna be entitled Life Connect Digicel. So it's on January 8th. 2021, 7 p.m. So it's not our usual Life Connect that we do via FB Live. So we're gonna do this via Google Meet. So we are encouraging everyone to connect to a Digicel. So hindi ko hindi nyo pa alam ko anong Digicel. You can ask your leaders or your network leaders about the Digicel. So if you want to be part of this Life Connect, you need to be part of a Digicel. Amen. So. We see, uh, see you on the next Life Connect next month. It's next year, 2021. So, ayan. so let's all stand up and let's sing our closing song.
Sunday. Merry Christmas to everyone. A blessed day to everyone watching this video. I hope everyone is blessed and has learned something through God's word today. Amen. It is our prayer and desire that we all grow more in wisdom and in love and also change as we listen to God's word. If you do have questions and clarifications, feel free to message us through our FB page and we will respond to you as promptly as we can. We believe that people need the Lord, so don't forget Amen. to share this video to your loved ones and your neighbors. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give that bell a tap for notifications and new videos. God, God bless, bless you and see you on our, our next video. video.